Ladies and gentlemen, ships at sea. Press. That was an old time. That was a good time. That was a a slower time. But anyway, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, this is Nerd Generation. Collaboration with Akhead News. Collaboration with Strange Strange Radio Waves Days. <laughs> My man got so many. They he got so many platforms. I had to say it wrong because I had to be right. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, thank you, thank you. My name is Tracy S5E4994. And with me today, from Nerd Generation, Mr. Pablo. Say it twice a lot. Pete, what's going on? Very much, man. Looking forward to the show. High five. We haven't yeah, done this. Yeah, I'm looking this. forward to this show. This was a hot one. I had to bring in a, I had to bring in a, a, a ringer. Because I'm cheating tonight. I'm just hey, listen. I'm letting y'all know I'm cheating tonight. I'm going to post a surprise even on them. They don't know what's about to come in. But ladies and gentlemen, also joining us, he was here before, MCU Future Series. He talked about Blaze. He gave you the what not and the have nots. The what's up and the what's down. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jeff Strange is in the house. Jeff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's good? What's good? How you feeling, babe? I'm good, man. You know, wash your hands. How's anybody feeling? We're going to leave that alone <laughs> because right now we want to be a distraction <laughs> and an attraction. And ladies and gentlemen, we all got opening statements before we want to make. No, I know this is not the uh, PTA meeting and you're not at the uh, school auditorium. Ladies and gentlemen, Justice League Dark. I bought it. I got it. I watched it. Go get it. It changed the game, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't want to say a word. I didn't want to say a word. Ladies and gentlemen, it almost brought a tear to my eye at the end of it. Because I said, wow. Here we go again. Oh my God! This, I mean, this is. I mean, wow! Here we go again. Now I don't know if you guys didn't see it. No spoilers at all. I ain't saying nothing. I ain't know who. I'm not gonna say who won, who lost, whose mama got slapped. I'm not even gonna go there. But you gotta go see this. Yo, Pete, did you see this movie yet? Oh yeah, I've been seeing it a long time ago. Well, I don't know how he did that, ladies and gentlemen. He must have got something coming off the turnpike. He must have had a delivery off the truck. <laughs> Jeff, did you see uh did you see Justice League Dark yet? The animation. Oh yeah. Love it. Since you guys say you got uh, listen, <laughs> did that yo yo this I gotta go back to Pablo because this is one of his favorite uh one of his favorite grievances. Yo, P when your man Flash got up and he did what he did. A tear rolled almost into my eye. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe we were back here again. And you know what, Pete? And yo, Jeff, you both got to appreciate it. That was great writing. Yes or no? That they brought us back again. And you didn't even know they were bringing... Did you see that coming? Yes or no? Gentlemen. No. Can't say that. I, I mean, I, I want to be, be clear. Pete, did uh, you see that coming? I did talking, not see that are, coming. Are we talking about Justice League Dark? When did this movie come out? Justice League Dark, it just went released the other day. Just the animation. But, but I, wasn't there already a Justice League Dark? Yeah, there yeah. was, a, there was with, a, the first one. but um, With Batman. Yeah, because this one with, was, was the one with, with Batman in it. Yeah. I know no, a, not they, that one. No, yeah, the new say, one yeah, that there's came a new out. one coming with Wonder Woman, Yeah, right? the new one came out yesterday. Oh, no. Pete, you didn't see it? No, because I didn't. Oh, oh yo, sad. Pete. Yo, Jeff, you know what? We ain't going to say nothing. We're going to leave this alone, ladies and gentlemen, because <laughs> this the man got to experience it. But, Jeff, you know what I just said when I mentioned a certain character. And, yeah. Jeff, I said, did you see that coming? I did not. No. It brought a tear to my eye. As a head, I said, oh, my God. Justice League Dog Apocalypse War. Okay. No, I haven't seen it. I'm going to see it. Yo, I'm, Pete, I'm you got to see that. Okay. Jeff, I'm telling you, it's going to mess Pablo up right now. <laughs> He's going to be like, oh, my God. Is it going to give me the same feeling that I got when Flash gave Bruce uh, the letter from his father? Yes. Okay. It's going to mess you up. <laughs> mm-hmm. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we could talk about this. This is another episode. But let's get right into it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here gathered here today to gather to this thing called life. Oh, there's a little trivia right there. No. We are talking about top five MCU movies. Now, this is going to cause some debate. 
Oh, yeah. This is going to cause some criticism. This is going to cause some angst. But that's what we want to do here, boys and girls. We want to mix it up today. We want to start some trouble. Stir the pot. Stir the pot. Stir the pot. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, top five MCU movies. We all have our list. Some of you will agree. Some of you won't agree. Some of you will maybe agree. Some of you will put a paprika. Some of you put salt pepper. I don't know. That's where they got the comment uh, section for. Oh, wow. He, he, he's directing you. Uh, parking lots down the, down the <laughs> hill. Make the left. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to start off. I think I'm going to start this up because I really want to hear the debate. And I just want to hear what these two gentlemen have to say. Because I got my pad and pen right here. See, I take <laughs> notes with these things, boys and girls. I cheat. I cheat. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, to start this off, I cheated, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. I cheated. Avengers Endgame, Civil War, Thor Ragnarok are my last five because they're all the same to me. Why? What? And people are saying Avengers. You people are saying Avengers Endgame. Why? I said, and I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. Avengers Endgame ended everything, but Thor Ragnarok brought Thor to life, and Civil War was the tie between all of them, because they had to do Civil War to tie in the atmosphere that led to Infinity War, that led to Endgame, but then you had to develop Thor. So to me, those three movies are my. Are my number five yeah. movies. For me, number five is Endgame. Uh, if you think about the hype, one year out for Endgame to arrive, after getting a punch in the gut, so to speak, with the ending of Infinity War, right? Now we're waiting on this next film to see what happened, right? And and then especially hearing uh, that the movie takes place five years after, four years or five years after, right? So all of that excitement building up amongst the millions of fans wanting to know what happens next. I like Iron Man 1 for the one one simple reason I really like Iron Man 1 is because, you know, Robert Downey Jr. put his twist on it, gave his, you know, the performance of it, the role of his life, really. And even though the other two movies suck, but the other movies that he's played as Iron Man throughout have been great. And this was the first glimpse we saw it. And it was just like, wow. You know, and then, you know, our imaginations was taken off and we were like, OK, I'm I'm already was thinking about uh, Demon in the Bottle and, and the, all the other great stories, you know, the Armor Wars, all that. You know, that's why, you know, but it gave us a taste. It gave us a taste without being over the top corny. And like I said, Robert Downey Jr., best role of his life. Number four, the first Avengers, that was the first time. Yeah. The first Avengers, the Super Bowl commercial that basically put it over that stratosphere. There was no way that movie was not going to make money. We waited, we waited online to see the first Avengers. It was almost like being a kid again. It was almost like going to go see uh, Star Wars Empire Strikes Back. Number four would be Ragnarok. Because this movie redeemed Thor. Because okay. Dark World sucked. Yeah, okay. The first, the first Thor movie was basically an introduction. I dug, I dug um, Hawkeye in it, you know, but it just was, it, it was cool, but it wasn't enough. You know, I wasn't really expecting, the, you know, the Don Blake personality to show up or Sigurd Jawson when, you know, Don Blake got separated. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that, but I was like, okay, Thor Odinson, that's it. Cool, no problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My, my number four is... Iron Man and Tracy and I spoke about this. We've spoken about it in the past many, many times before, but Iron Man uh, was the beginning, obviously, and it set the tone to what we were going to get. Let me get to my third one. The first Iron Man. Why? Because nothing will ever replace, and me and Pablo cheated, 
Because we t- talked about this before. Me and Jeff cheated because we talked about this before. But we talk about a lot of stuff in, in conjecture. You can't say, oh, we did that prior to the show. No, don't do that. Don't do that. But anyway, Iron Man won. Because nothing will ever change the fact that I'm actually seeing a hero that in the, in the comic books, he's a B-lister. And if you know a B-lister, there's a lot of terms for B-listing that if it wasn't the popular sell, it didn't have its own, whatever, whatever. We can go down that road. Tom, Tom, um, Tom Cruise was supposed to be Iron Man over a decade ago. That movie didn't work out. That would have been produced by Universal. There's a whole lot of stuff with the Iron Man property. But anyway, Robert Downey Jr. carried it. I cared about this character. You actually like Robert Downey Jr. playing the uh, egotistical Tony Stark. But at the end of it, when Sam Jackson came out and he just told the whole world that there was a greater MCU universe, it was like every egghead's dream come true. You'll never replace that moment that we've finally seen the Marvel superheroes treated a certain way. They're going to be on TV. Excuse me. They're going to be on film. And it's going to be done right. Number three. I would have to say um, Winter Soldier. Number like three? Wow. Number three. Wow. Number three is definitely Winter Soldier because, you know, I'm I'm a martial arts enthusiast. I'm still like a yellow, orange belt, one of them fruity colors. <laughs> the, the moves that I'm seeing in there, and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm looking at, you know, when I used to watch my senseis get down when other schools are coming visit. I'm like this, like, yo, yo. I'm, I mean, but these are the kind of moves I was seeing. So, and you know, when I went to the movies, I'm sitting there, you know, doing blocks and everything else, and people looking at me like, oh, this guy's gonna hurt someone. That movie there. If you were like a martial arts enthusiast or hand to hand combat enthusiast, this is the movie for you. My number three, Infinity War. Listen, years prior to Infinity War coming out, right? Tracy and I had spoken of the possibilities after seeing, after seeing Avengers 1. We were like, especially me, I, I, was, I was like, I can't believe this is happening. Those were my thoughts. Then after this belief, now I started thinking about how they're going to portray this on film. You know, they can't do exactly what they did in the comic book, right? That would be crazy, especially, you know, you don't got the Silver Surfer. Adam Warlock hasn't been established. What are they going to do? How are they going to do it? And obviously we didn't know the details. Some people probably knew from leaks or whatever the case may be, but I was just speculating. I like to speculate based on what I've been given. I don't like I don't have time to dig too deep into it, but based on what I was given, all I knew was this that if they are going to do the Infinity Gauntlet storyline, it cannot be done in one film. The film had to be Thanos trying to get the gauntlet, getting the gauntlet, and decimating everyone. Because you can't do a film like this in one movie. It would not, it would just not be enough. Sure enough, that's what they did. I'm just saying they did the right thing. So, uh, Infinity War is my number three. Uh, Infinity, listen, Infinity War, I can watch that all day long. But, if you listen to the Hulk show, you'll know why it's not number one. Number two. Avengers Infinity War. And why you say Avengers Infinity War? That was, and we said it amongst ourselves. We all were talking even back then. Ladies and gentlemen, this was a movie. If you did not see the other movies, don't even waste your time. This is for the true believers. This is for the heads. We came here to see this end or lead up until the end. We wanted to see the confrontation with Thanos. We were not distracted Mm -hmm. by Guardians of the Galaxy. It's not a shot, ladies and gentlemen. We were not distracted about all stories, about this and that, like we do in the comic books, where there's a main thing in line, but then there's these off stories telling about what happened down the block. No, this Infinity (laughs) Infinity War was straight to it, and it did not let me down. No, it did not disappoint. Except for one part, but that's future. Talking about the Incredible Hulk. But anyway, other than that, <laughs> Infinity War from the first 
I mean, when on the ship with Thanos, on the ship with Loki, we got, ladies and gentlemen, you got your 10 years worth of characters. Here we are. There is no talking or guessing or distractions. We are in the moment. Yes. Somehow they got on board that ship and kicked Thor's ass, which at that point, Thor just came off Thor Ragnarok. We thought he was in his own. Somehow he got subdued, snuffed. But you had Thor, Loki, Ra you had Thor, Loki, him down on that ship, and they took them out. Mm -hmm. Explain to me how come the Hulk did. Anyway, we can go on and on. But <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, that's why Infinity War was number two. And the Infinity War was number two because of the character development of Doctor Strange and Thor. And the character development of Wanda, Vision, the character development of Cap, Rhodey, Infinity War was my second greatest MCU movie. So number two is definitely going to go to uh, Black Panther. Wow. I have, I have to represent for the king. Okay. I see that. You know, yeah. I mean, because it, it still could have been more you know, but it was certain things in there that like, oh, come on, that could have been okay. But um, the main seller for the movie for me, my man, you know, Creed's boy, Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> okay. Because that was that, that's the attitude you want to you want to hear. What I would say that he, Michael B. Jordan and how he portrayed Killmonger, he was definitely representing uh, uh, people who feel this way, who yeah. actually feel this oh, way with that with there that same emotion. Yeah. So yeah. a lot of that. people related to him. Yeah. I have to say Black Panther because of what it represented. Yeah. And I got to say number two, Black Panther for me, because I predicted most of what was going to happen with that film. <laughs> with Black what Panther, what? I predicted what was going to happen with that film. Oh, wow, you can predict the movie. Yeah, that's bad when you... Listen. I think I know where this is going to go. Wow. No, no, no. I, I predicted reg with regards to how well it was going to be received, what it was going to do in the theaters, money. Mm -hmm. I knew what it was going to do because of what it represented. Yeah. So I knew that film was going to be successful. And... Black Panther could have been number one had you seen because I was expecting it. A lot of people were talking about it. They were rumor, they were you know talking on rumors about it that it could happen. But a fight between Black Panther and Captain America and Black Panther getting the best of him that would have been oh. like yeah, that would have been awesome over the top. A flashback to nineteen forty one because yeah, that would have been great. It's happened in the comic books and like even some oh, of yeah. these so called diehard fans don't want to believe that. But I'm like no, uh, Captain I mean uh, T'Challa's grandfather. Whooped his ass. Real quick, did you ever see Black Panther, the BET cartoon? Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. I got that on DVD. <laughs> Man, that fight between him and Cap was dope. I suggest for you, Captain, to turn around. Oh man, that 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 was that was that was so dope. If they could have done that, that would have been my number one film. Dominic Hansu, that's right. Nobody, nobody would have convinced me otherwise. My number one movie, which I'm sure is a lot of people's number one movie, The Winter Soldier, Captain America. I really don't have to give a lot of reasons why. If you saw this movie when it first came out, not only did it establish a social climate with Hell Hydra, oh, yeah. not only <laughs> it was the most authentic superhero movie since yeah. I can't even think the last time we saw a movie like that so authentic not only was it like the best james bond spy thriller we had seen in a decades not only did everybody get shot everybody was in jeopardy you didn't know who was who and everything was an element of surprise for the entire movie i couldn't jump the gun and speculate on anything and they never as we go and talk about perfect movies Winter Soldier never had a last in attention. You watched that movie from, from end start to, to end. Agree. It was it agree. was perfect. Yeah, I, I I can't argue with that number one. I can't argue because the I've Winter said, Soldier was perfect. Yeah, yeah. If you ask me 
to look back at all the shows that we've done, you're going to at least hear me say that one time in the show. Possibly. I, I possibly average one time of that mention that The Winter Soldier is the best film that Marvel has ever done. Yeah. The Russo Brothers, ladies and gentlemen. Number one for me, Infinity War. Okay. Okay. Just, just to have that scene of all them running towards battle. And I mean, you know, even yeah. though Endgame was all that too, but I wasn't feeling Professor Hulk. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. We can, I'm telling you. I wasn't that's, feeling that's, Professor Hulk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, yeah. they fooled everybody with, with the coming attraction. You see Hulk running along with them. And, like, and it, you see, you see and that, that same was on purpose. scene. Yeah. And that was on purpose. That, that's great marketing, man. They got yeah. us. It's like, you tricked damn me. It. You tricked me. <laughs> he got Infinity War, Black Panther, Winter Soldier, Thor Ragnarok, and Iron Man. I didn't put Civil War in there? Nope. Damn. You want to cheat like Tracy? Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I cheated. I put the three. I put three equal. All right, to, for a, a tie for second place, Black Panther and Civil yeah. War. Yeah, yeah. So you. Uh, oh uh, really? Uh, another cheater. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this has been top five MCU movies, and once again, we'd like to thank Mr. Jeff Strange. Not a problem, man. And where can people find you? www.strangesounds and sounds are spelled with a Z. www.strangesoundsradio.com There it is, boys and girls. You saw that plug. It was great. And uh, once again, allow me to pitch today, Nerd Generation Pablo. Any last words to say? Other than please click on and subscribe, which we all say. Please click on yeah, and subscribe. Um, if you don't agree with what we were saying and you got your own top five, put your top five down in the comment section. We'll yes, sir. It. Please like and subscribe. If you, th- if, you, if you put Thor Ragnarok up in there, I'm going I'm I'm to go in. Thor the Dark World and Iron Man 3. What happened? Oh, well. <laughs> I said we do commentary, not psychiatry. <laughs> and, not, and not sorcery either. <laughs> yeah, and not sorcery either. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and uh, for all the uh, heads over at uh, Headcat News, this was fun. We'll be back to do some more. And uh, d- good night. Peace.